So today I'm going to be working on my daughter's best friend's baby shower centerpieces and she's going with an elephant theme. So this project is Pinterest inspired. I will show you guys the picture that we saw on Pinterest. So let me show you what I'm going to use. So we found these little elephants. They are so adorable. We found them at Hobby Lobby and they were only 87 cents. Instead of having to draw them out or to find a picture and download it and cut it out and do it, it's just cheaper to get them at Hobby Lobby. And they were only 87 cents and they are out of thin wood, like plywood or something. I'm not sure what kind of wood it is, but it is really thin. So we're going to be using these here and we're making six centerpieces. Uh, we have an extra one just in case I screw up one of them. So I have seven total. I went to Dollar Tree and I picked up some of these little paper straws. They're in the blue chevron. But I also have some of these darker blue ones that have stars that are for 4th of July. I don't know if I may use these, but I have them just in case. I'm also using some of these wooden skewers that I already had. We purchased three bags of the peanuts at Dollar Tree. So hopefully three would be enough for the six centerpieces we're doing. I also found these little guys here. So I was looking for the small little pacifiers that they had there, but it seems like all Dollar Trees are out of a lot of their baby shower stuff. It's like everybody's having babies and normally they're full stocked. But today, of course, I went to three different Dollar Trees to find some of this stuff. So all I could find were these little rattles. So I picked them up. I do have scissors and a couple of brushes here. I have my washi tape. You'll see what I'm gonna use this for. I also have some rhinestones. I don't know if I'm gonna use them. I know I have some blue ones somewhere, but I don't know where they're at. I think my daughter might have them in her room. So when she gets home, I'll have to ask her. But I may use some of these. I have some glue over here, some Mod Podge. I also have some of this blue. It's called Light Blue from Apple Barrel Paint. So for tool, we picked up these at Hobby Lobby when they were 50% off. And this one is in, it's called, does it say? It doesn't say, but it just, here's the tool that I'm using. It's like a little beigey color. So we got one spool of that. Then the other spool that we got was of this blue here. And it doesn't say, does it? Mm -mm, it doesn't say the colors on here. But this is like a light, like a very light blue. This one is a gray. And these are the colors that her friend chose. So that's why we're using these colors. And then this sparkly blue one right here. And she, she obviously is having a boy. So that's why we have the blues. You're also going to go ahead and cut out a little piece of cardboard. It's going to be a four by four. Really doesn't matter as long as the only thing that matters is the four inches. So across, that's it. We also picked up this glitter here. We picked this one up at Walmart for, I think it was like almost $3. It's a silver color that we're going to be using. We are going to need a glue gun and glue sticks. And we're going to use these jars right here from Dollar Tree. So I already washed them. I took off the sticker from here and it left a little bit of residue. So the way to take that residue off and it takes it off immediately is using some acetone. I picked this one up at Dollar Tree as well. I put some on this little cotton round here, just dipped it on there. And then I just went ahead and I did this number to it and it came right off. So see, there's nothing on here. So, I mean, you don't have to take off the sticker, but I like to, you know, keep it nice and clean. So I picked up also these ribbons here at Dollar Tree in the baby shower section. And this is from one Dollar Tree. And this one is from another Dollar Tree. So I picked up these as well. So I don't know which ones we're going to use. I'm going to leave that up to my daughter so she can pick uh, whichever ones she wants. So I believe that is everything. So let's get started. So... What I did is I grabbed my, my skewers here. Just for the sake of time, I already painted my skewers that blue. I just grabbed my little paintbrush and I painted the skewers blue. I don't know if you guys can see the color. You could tell the difference. 
here's the one that's painted here's the one that's not painted so I just painted it all the way around almost all the way to the bottom maybe just the tip I did not it doesn't matter because this is where we're gonna attach our elephant I wanted to get that out the way so now we also have alcohol by the way you guys so for our vases what I'm gonna do I'm gonna get some of this washi tape here that's because I'm using washi tape because I don't have any masking tape so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and put my mat my washi tape all the way around on the bottom part where the washi tape is gonna be I'm gonna go ahead and paint glue and sprinkle glitter on there I don't want to go too high on the vase so that's why I'm gonna be using this washi tape so All I'm gonna do is I'm gonna see I want to I don't want to go too high so I'm probably gonna go there and I'm just gonna go all the way around trying to make it as even as I possibly can oh sorry guys I don't know if I was in frame there all right right there all right can you guys see that's what that's all I did is just put it right there then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab my alcohol I'm gonna soak a little bit of the alcohol in this little cotton round then I'm just gonna go ahead and clean the bottom of this area where I'm gonna put the glue on only because I want it to stick really well now I'm grabbing my napkin and drying that up I'm not gonna touch it right here because then the oils on my hand are going to transfer over and I don't want that so I'm going to go ahead now and paint my glue on here and then I'm going to sprinkle my glitter so I'm going to go ahead and do that and let you guys see as I do that dry and then I'm gonna go ahead once it dries and seal it with some some more glue right on top I do have a little mat underneath there where it's catching all the all the glitter so I can reuse that glitter but I'm gonna do this to all of my vases if you're wondering how far I'm going with uh, where I'm putting the washi tape I'm going to two inches I'm just getting my ruler and I'm standing it right next to my jar and then I'm gonna go ahead and put it all the way around keep looking at it make sure it's nice and even all the way around because it, as you start turning your washi tape it does start to go up a little so just make sure that you're looking at it in every angle is angles so just go ahead and um, you can do two inches you could do one inch of glitter if you want however you want you could go up to three inches if you like I don't want to put that much glitter on the bottom because I want to I want you to be able to see the peanuts that are going to be in this vase as well I want to give you guys a little tip right here if you guys can see I'm going to leave a little bit of the um, tape the washi tape just up a little like a little to give me a little lip that way it's easier for me to just go ahead and grab it and then just peel it right off so don't forget to do a little lip on there for you so that way it's so much easier for you to just take off the tape all right so I just finished doing all of my bases so now I'm going right back to the first face that I did and it's still not completely dry but what I want to do is I want to seal my glitter in uh, with more glue now if you at this point if you see that you have bald spots somewhere then then go ahead and add some more um, glitter on there but I'm just gonna go ahead and put glue all on top of it so that way I don't have so much fallout and I'm just gonna go ahead and I'm just gonna dab it now this glue does dry clear so I'm getting enough on my brush here and then I'm just gonna dab it again if you want to add more glue to uh, more glitter then you can do so now and then when you're let that dry then you come back and then just do this step but this is how you would seal it so that way you don't have that much fallout and as you can see I don't know if you guys can see I'm just dabbing it just going up and down because I don't want to 
take off the glitter because if I start doing this like painting it then I'm gonna take off the glitter and I don't want to do that see and that's how you would seal seal it so I'm gonna go ahead and add some more glitter because I do see a couple little bald spots here and there and then I'm gonna do this to seal it so I just wanted to show you guys that step so there are my vases I did two coats I do recommend that you do two coats of glitter because I could see a lot of bald spots uh, with one coat unless you want you know if you're gonna put a candle in there and you want it to kind of go shine through then that would that would be fine but I did two coats of glitter now I'm gonna go ahead and let this dry completely and then I'm gonna go ahead and put my Mod Podge on top of it to seal it so while that's drying let's work on the pom-poms so the first thing we want to do is we're going to go ahead and grab our 4x4 four four square here this is four inches tall right here so the length is not important it's just the the tallness of it it has to be four inches so we're going to grab our tool as a matter of fact i think i might cut a little piece of the tool to have something to tie my tool with let's see about right there cut right there I'm just cutting a little piece so I can tie it off so okay we're gonna grab our tool and we're gonna grab our cardboard and we're just gonna go ahead and start doing this putting it around turning it around on our cardboard 12 times So we have 12 there. You can go more if you want, 13. And um, I think I'm gonna do 14. Do 14 right there. Then I'm gonna go ahead and cut, cut it right at the end like that. All right, and then I'm gonna go ahead and grab it. And get it out of here like that now we're gonna hold it in the middle like this grab your little piece that you just cut out and then just tie it around the middle of your pom-pom like this and I'm doing it nice and tight make sure it's in the middle in the middle yep it's in the middle and I'm tying it nice and tight there we go just like that all right then what we're gonna do is we're gonna go through where that little loop is at right here see here is this right here and we're just gonna go ahead and start cutting right there there it is and if you miss any parts like right here then Sorry, you guys, I wasn't in frame. Then just cut it like that. See, there's this bit right here. You're just going to have to look to make sure that you got it all. Yep. Okay, now I'm going to do this side. There's our little loop again. Get in the middle of it like this. And just cut it. There it is. So now I'm just going to start to fluff it. And then you're going to you're going to trim away at it. So all the pieces that are longer, you'll just start to trim away at it. So now I'm going to start trimming away the other pieces just to get it even. Just like that, you guys. Okay? We're going to do a, I'm going to do one I'm gonna do six of the gray I'm gonna do six of each color so I'm gonna go ahead and do all my other pom-poms then I'll be back to show you how we're gonna attach the straw okay so now I just finished putting my last coat of glue and while it's still wet I'm gonna take off my tape I'm gonna try to be careful with it I don't want to pull oh I pulled some of the um it's not gonna be a straight straight line I'm just trying to get it as straight as I possibly can and there it is I'm gonna let this set set 
and then we'll come back and then we can clean this line up and then now just let these dry so I wanted to show you guys how to glue these guys I was trying to take off the sticker in the back I couldn't it's really on there so I'm gonna go ahead and still glue it on there I think I'm gonna cover the back with either a little piece of a ribbon or a nice looking scrapbook paper or something I like I pay attention to details and I really don't want to see this on there so um, I'll find something I'll go to the store right now I'm gonna take a little break from all this because the glue has given me a headache if you're gonna do the glue the Mod Podge please be in an open ventilated area I opened up my window I have my ceiling fan on and I even opened up the door in my craft room because it is so strong in here it gave me a headache so anyway so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and glue this stick the um, skewer right in the center of my elephant so I'm looking there it is so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go ahead and add some glue right in the center just a little line all the way down then I'm just gonna go ahead and put my stick I'm just twisting this so I know it's so it could stay on there there we go it should be in the center yep that's in the center and now I'm just gonna let that go ahead and harden up and I'm gonna do the rest of my my little elephants and then they should look like this and this little skewer just like that so again I'm gonna try to find something to cover the back here because I really don't like the way that looks I pay attention to detail and I really don't like that so I'm gonna figure out something I'm gonna see if I have something here if not then I'm just gonna make a run to the store and find something to cover that so I went through my stash and I found this piece of scrapbook paper here and all I did was as you can see I had an extra elephant just in case anything happened so I used that one as my little template I laid them down pretty much I put them down like this and then I just traced all around him and then I'm gonna go ahead and cut this out and then hopefully um, I can glue it in the back I don't know what's gonna work I'm gonna give it a try and see how that works so I'm gonna go ahead and cut this and then glue it and then I'll be back all right so I glued this on here and honestly although it looks really cute this is very time consuming and tedious to do so now we're gonna go ahead and glue our straw to our pompon and uh, so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna pick in the bottom down here where I have this little knot I'm just gonna add some glue and then I'm just gonna glue my little pom-pom right on there so let me add some glue right there in the middle you guys see right there just added some glue and then I'm just gonna hold my stick right in the center just hold it until it dries pushing my pom-pom out the way just holding it holding it just till it sets a little and then I'll add some more glue just holding pretty tight until this this um, sets this actually is going to take a little bit so I'm going to add a little more glue And I'm pushing some of these guys right in there too, some of the tool right in. And I'm just holding it. This is going to take a little bit to do. So once it dries, then I'm going to go ahead and shape my pom pom again. Just right now it's flat because I am gluing this on there. But that's what we're going to do to all of our pom poms. Good morning. All right, so I'm going to resume with this uh, craft here. I have a little tip for you guys. If you don't want to cut out that 4x4 four four square, cardboard square, then just use a 4-inch book. I have this book, and it has to be 4 inches up this way. So that's what I did. I just wrapped it around the book, 
and it, it was so much easier this way um, with the glittered ribbon here not ribbon with the uh, glittered mesh it is like I think 12 yards or something like that yeah it's 12 yards so I have to go back and get some more at Hobby Lobby it's not 50% off today but it's okay I'll use a 40% off coupon and I did 10, 10 times I wrapped it so I could try to save some. So I had like four, actually three, because this one was, I think, went up to like eight or something like that turns. But I didn't want to waste any of the ribbon. Like I do here, I was tying it with this ribbon. Not ribbon, I keep saying ribbon. I didn't want to waste the mesh, so this one has the mesh, not mesh. Oh my God. So I didn't want to waste any of the tool to like you know how I'm using tool to tie it so I didn't use any tool all I did was I cut some of this string that I have here to use it on this one because this one I, I didn't want to use I wanted to use as much as I possibly could on here so that's why you see these like that but if you're going to use the glittered one it's best to get a couple of them if you're only doing like six of them I'm doing six I have the seventh just in case anything happens but and then what I did was I made all my little bundles of the for the little pom-poms and then I can come back and cut them all and shape them but it's better just to do them all first and then uh, going ahead and fluffing them out and then doing all that now these have already hardened up these stay like this overnight do you see how these are this is not going anywhere it's finely glued and here are the way our vases look. Look, no fallout. So there, there are a lot of little steps that you have to do that may seem like it's a lot, but it, you have to do those steps. You can't skip on them because it makes it so much easier. You won't have all that fallout on there. So I'm going to go ahead and finish these guys, make a run to Hobby Lobby and get some more of this tool. And then um, the peanuts, I'm not going to put in there until the day of because I don't want them to get stale. And I think I'm just going to go ahead and cut these guys out and put them in the back of the of my little elephants because I do like the way that looks. It's This is tedious, but I do like the way this looks. So that's what I'm going to do. And then we'll be back. I'll be back to show you how I do the ribbon. All right, so... Uh, if you guys decide to do what I'm doing here with tracing out the elephant and then cutting it, I'm going to show you some, something. I've cut out my little elephant and then these little little details right here, you can see right there. I'm going to use these small little scissors to go ahead and cut in those small little areas. That way it helps get into those you see there it is and then I'm just gonna go ahead and finish cutting off the, the remainder here see how it gets that little detail in there um, really it doesn't matter I mean I'm trying to get it as neat as I possibly can because I'm still gonna continue to cut when it's actually on the elephant itself so you can get white glue or the Mod Podge and paint it on the back and then just glue it like like this. What I'm using because I don't want to wait too long. I'm trying to get this done already. I'm just putting a little bit of hot glue and then just gluing it down. Trying to get it all the way down as even as I possibly can. Okay, like that. Then once it's dry, I turn it around. And you're gonna have see like little um, paper hanging off the sides then I just go around with my little scissors and I start to trim it once it's glued it has to be secure before you start doing that and then I start cutting it around and then the back looks like that see just like that if you wanted to do this route it is a little time consuming and it is a little tedious, but it does look pretty. So honestly, I mean, I, I'm a perfectionist and I pay attention to detail. 
So for me, even though this might be a little tedious, I'd rather do this than have that ugly sticker in the back. And it covers the stick as well, so I like that. So I figured I would just show you guys how I did this part, just in case you guys are wondering. Because I know that when I watch some videos and people don't show you, they really briefly explain or they just show you the after. You're like thinking, well, how did I, how did you get to that step? I just want to make sure I showed you guys, show you guys. Even though this video may be a little long, it's okay. I'm sure that if you really want to do this and you're interested in doing this, then you wouldn't mind because you want to know exactly how to, how to do this project. So I wanted to show you something really quick. So I'm holding my my pom-pom from where I tied it. And then I'm as you can see here, I'm just taking my time and spreading the tool apart. And I think that makes it so much easier to do. Uh, I'm just letting you guys know because I know that there's a lot of tutorials out there how to do this, but they don't actually show you how to do it because if you just start to separate it like them, it doesn't look full. See how it's starting to look full? So that's that's what I'm doing here. And then I'm not I'm not letting go of where I where I tied it. So I'm just spreading it out and then that way when I go glue it, I glue it right here. And then once it dries, then I go back and then I start to fluff it out again. But can you guys see how fluffy it looks? And then to get it even, then you I'll just go like this to it, bunch bunch it up and then I'll just clip cut it with the scissors all the way to the top so it's nice and even but I just wanted to show you guys that step because I know I see a lot of uh, tutorials but they don't show you all that all that detail that goes into it take your time fluffing these out I know it's a little tedious but it if you want them to look really fluffy and nice then you have to take your time and spread spread them apart just wanted to let you guys know that you love me all right, you guys, so I'm going to show you how to trim this. So you see, I, I spread it out already. I have it glued on to my, my I have my, um, what do you call that? I have my straw onto my pom-pom. And now I'm going to show you how to trim this. I already spread it out. And this looks pretty good. Um, but you just go around and you just do this number to it. Wherever you see it needs it. So... Like right here, I think I need more. Just, you know, so you can have it even. So, like right over here. See, I think I think that looks good. Maybe right here, I need a cut right there. But just keep on doing that all the way around till you get it to uh, where you like it. And it's all even. So, um, yeah. So, that's basically all you're going to do. Like down here too. Sorry if you can hear my music on the background. I'm listening to my playlist on my uh, computer and I have a mixture of everything. Country, alternative, disco, 80s, 90s, R&B, hip hop, all kinds of stuff. Jazz, my country. Oh, I wasn't in frame. Sorry. <laughs> all right. See, just that, like that. So just do it to all of them. I just wanted to show you how I'm, I'm doing this. All right, you guys, so this is what it looks like so far. I've already trimmed them, these here, and then those over there. I'm just putting them in here for now. So I don't know, what do you guys think? So far, that's what it looks like. So I have glitter everywhere and all over me because of this one right here. But I, I think it's looking good. I like it. 
So, I don't know. What do you guys think? Yeah, I think it looks good. Ah, all right, I just wanted to, you know, update you guys so far on what I'm doing and I'm still working on this. I still have to finish these pom-poms and then we can get to the last step. I wanted to add glitter to some of this one. I added actually these straws because I ran out of the other straw. So I used these straws and I figured, you know what? She needed six centerpieces, so I'm going to make one a little different than the others. Just a tiny bit different. So this one obviously is going to have these uh, straws with the stars. And then what I did was I added glitter to this little pom-pom here. Now this glitter is too chunky for me, but it's already on there. So I'm going to show you how I did this. So I just, oops, I just grabbed my pom-pom and then I have this fine glitter here that I picked up at 99 cents store a while ago. It's in a, in a pack. And so I, all I did was grab my hairspray and then I'm just going to spray this guy, the pom-pom, everywhere. Okay, let me open up my glitter here. And then I'm just going to sprinkle the glitter on there. Just to give it a little bit of a, a glittery effect. See, the fine glitter works so much better. Just trying to make it look just a little different. Oh, I love this fine glitter. I should have used that on that one. Maybe I'll try to see if I could fix that silver one. And then, to lock it in, to lock in the glitter, ah, yeah, let me get all this glitter that fell right here. Alright, then to lock in that glitter, I'm just going to spray it again with the hairspray. And then there it is. Now right now I know you can't see it. I will put it towards the sun. But you actually, you can, I can see it. I can see how sparkly it is. I don't know, I don't know if you guys can see the sparkles. Let's see. Can you guys see the little sparklies in there? I don't know if you can see them. They're subtle, but they're there. But I like the way this looks. And let me just say that this is an honor to do this for my daughter's friend. You know, she was in the Army, and like I said, now she's a police officer. So I am completely honored to be doing these centerpieces for her. So I hope she enjoys them. And uh, I will show you guys what they look like. All right, you guys. So now we finally came down to the ribbon part. So what I did was I used my paint bottle because it's really small. It's only two ounces. And what I did was I got a piece of felt that I already had here and I just put it right on my felt and I traced a circle on my felt. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and cut these circles out and then we're going to start using our ribbon. All right, so I have my little circle that I already cut out. I did cut this ribbon here at four and a half inches and so what I'm going to do next is I'm just going to fold it in half just like this and then I'm going to go ahead and add a little glue right on the ribbon itself just like that being careful not to burn yourself you guys okay so and then I'm going to go ahead and glue it right here. Okay, like right facing up like this. Okay, sorry. Take it with me. So just like that. If you guys can see that. Ah, I got glue all over my hands. just like that and then grab another one and we're going to do the same thing let's see right there a little bit of glue just like that 
So I'm going to go ahead and glue that one down as well. I'm just adding a little bit of glue on this one. And then I'm going to go ahead and put it right on. I'm leaving a little space in between because I think I'm going to use this ribbon doing the same thing. And I believe I might cut it maybe a little bit smaller, maybe like four inches for the other one. So again, I put a little glue there. Now I'm going to go ahead and fold my ribbon. Be careful not to burn yourselves with the glue. It is really hot. And then I'm just going to add a little bit of glue right there. And I don't know if it's going to need five or six. So I'm just trying to two. So basically that's what we're doing. Okay. So it's going to be five of those. And then in between these. Let's see. Yep, I'm going to do four inches of this one and do the exact same thing on here. So I'm going to finish doing this and then I'll be back. Okay, you guys, so let me tell you what I did. I ended up doing the six um, little ribbons on here. The five kind of look awkward. So I did six and then I did, um, these were four and a half inches. And then these right here are two inches. I did it the exact same way. Then I just put the little rattle in the middle of the center or in the middle in the center okay I put it right in the middle and then I did this one came out a little longer but it's okay I don't have to use this one but and then um, I just did these little ribbons inside in the middle kind of in between all the other ones and then I glued a little rattle in the middle in the middle can't talk today my goodness and then I put little gems little rhinestones right on those and then um, I just painted some more of these sticks here and then I'll just glue this on there like this and then I might end up doing another circle like this to glue it in between the back of the stick as well so you don't see the stick but I'll let you guys know so I I think this is how I'm gonna end up doing it if I change it up I will show you guys that all right so I'm just gonna finish this up I'm a little tired so I've been at this all day so really quickly, I wanted to let you guys know that I ended up doing four inches of this right here, um, this ribbon. I think four and a half inches might be a little too long. So I did four inches and then I'm doing, I don't know if I told you guys, but two inches of this one here. So I just wanted to let you guys know that this is down to four inches, not four and a half. All right, you guys, so I'm going to show you how I'm going to attach this to this right here. So I cut out another little circle, another felt circle. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and add some glue all on my circle. All the way. Okay, just like that. All right, then I'm going to put my stick right in the middle, in the center of the glue. Then I'm going to grab my little flower. Okay, and then I'm going to, I want the, the rattle to be looking, to be facing kind of like that. So now I'm just pressing it down. I'm going to turn this around. And then I'm going to line, line it to the back of the other felt. And then I'm just pressing it down, especially right here where that little, where you, it feels like a spine. It's just the stick right there, like that. And then I'm going to let it dry. And this should look like this on that stick. See, just like that. All right, so now I'm going to go ahead and put the peanuts into these vases, make these arrangements, and then we're on our way to drop them off to her friend's house and I'm having my glass of wine because this is a labor of love. The thing that takes the longest is just these guys. You just have to have a little patience and you want to make sure that you spread those out so they look really nice 
and um, it does take a minute but the end result is beautiful so I'm gonna go ahead and start putting the peanuts in and then I'll show you what they look like all right you guys so this so far is what I have done so as you can see this one is pretty full and this one is not as full it's definitely gonna need more than three bags for six centerpieces seven if we're gonna do that one but it is a little difficult to get the peanuts in there and have these guys stand up like the elephant taller than that one it is a little more difficult to do so <clears throat> excuse me so I don't know I might need to go back and get some more bags of peanuts to fill them up I don't mind that you could see these straws because the straws are really pretty and so I just I like the way it looks it looks really pretty I still have to kind of do some more fluffing but the way I'm adding the peanuts, let me move this out of the way, is I'm trying to keep these down, I'm trying to keep these guys down low here so they touch the rim of the vase. And so I'm just trying to add the peanuts right through here. Like I had taken them all off and filled it with the peanuts and tried to stick it through, but it it's a little difficult to do. And so now I'm just going right through here and trying to get the peanuts in through the bottom here. And I keep on turning the vase and looking to see where they're going, where they're landing. And um, trying to get these straws to stay in the center. That's, that's the difficult part, is trying to get that in there like that. But basically this is what I'm trying to do here, is just get them in the center. Or get the peanuts in here. And then once I have them in there, then I can start adjusting the straws and stuff. And um, they are moving quite a bit, so I may have to go get some more peanuts. I'll have to have my daughter run and go grab some more bags of peanuts for this. Definitely going to need it. So you're going to have to pack it in pretty, pretty much to get these guys to stand and not be falling. So, um, yeah, so I'm going to keep on messing with these and then I will show you what they look like tomorrow at the baby shower. See, I just like the way they look from the back. They look finished with this on here like this, the paper that I did on the back here. And then with that, it just looks polished. It just looks really finished and I like that. They all have that on them. So I wanted to show you guys that I won something at the baby shower yesterday. I guessed how many gumballs were in a mason jar. And it's just a cute little gift. It was a little spa day. I got a little microfiber headband. Some of these cucumber iPads, which I already have. So I can give these to my daughter. And then a little gel mask for the eyes. Um, a little shower cap and some bath soak. This one is, let's see, honeysuckle and green tea. So I thought that was really adorable and yeah, I won that at the baby shower.